my fingers crossed that it's not plum because if it's plum, I'm allergic to plum, so. Welcome to the Drunken Bear! Squad. Hi, Bear Squad! We're gonna go to a market today to try some Hungarian dishes and also this is the one thing that I've been waiting for. Yeah. Speaking of um, like doing a like public bath in Hungary, we are gonna go to a thermal bath which we've been waiting for a long time. Okay, let's hit the road! Let's hit the road and go to the downtown market. Let's roll! So the staircase here it's very scary. Look. Oh my god, it looks too thin. Look at this building. Have a look at St. Stephen's Basilica. It looks incredible. In the 18th century, the site of the basilica was actually a theater that hosted animal fights. Named after the first king of Hungary, the church was actually home to the king's right hand. I think Budapest is probably the first city I feel like you should come here in winter because the architecture isn't that colorful but they're magnificent like they are gigantic and it goes with snow very well Budapest is under construction It is, well I think this market is a bit under construction actually. So we found this downtown market Looks pretty cool. Again, another Art Nouveau looking building, which we always love. Oh, this time they have one pig, one goat, one dog, one dude at the front too. <laughs> Looks like he's hungry. So while at this market, we've heard that there's this place called Sef Ukaya, which is a really good place to try some food. So that's what we're gonna do. Time to have some food. Downtown Market Hall was built in the late 1800s and since then has undergone many changes. Plenty of fresh food about, and it's a great place to try some Hungarian dishes, and that's exactly what we were there for. To track down some great Hungarian food to try. Oh, it smells very good! Huh? It, it smells very good! It smells really good, really fresh. It's really warm in here too, which is good to get out of the cold. So this place was built in the 1800s, in the late 1800s, but they keep restoring it and they're going through these really cool restoring periods where they're just making it look brand making new and it looks really good, really comfy. Hi, I'm Rachel from South Korea. I'm Nick from Australia. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to be a part of our travels around the world. So there were many restaurants to choose from, but we chose Asef Ukaya. With many Hungarian dishes to choose from, we went with their recommendation and of course some dessert. It's very exciting, we're trying solet or soleil, not too sure. And we've got like a dessert here as well too. This looks so amazing, the bacon looks so thick. Look, you've got the egg and you've got just delicious looking beans, it's so good. It is. Whoa, it is so, so yummy. I'm not kidding. It's just amazing. I'm gonna try this bacon. Wow, love it. I'm not sure if this is bacon or some kind of hock or something, or some kind of ham, I think, actually. Mm. I'm not kidding when I say this is one of the yummiest, delicious meals I've ever had. Full stop, it is just so, so much flavor. It's got the perfect amount of saltiness. It's just hearty, warm for winter. And you've got this bread here too. I'm not too sure what this is. It's got some like pate looking thing in it. So I'm not sure if you're supposed to dip that in or not. I'll dip it in a bit. Mm. This meal can do no wrong. It is so, so yummy. Rachel, I can't wait for you to try it. It's amazing. Looks delicious. Wow. Look okay. Ooh, like, uh, looks like a combination of beans and pasta. It's like, um, I think every Hungarian meal has a little bit of um, goulash flavor. I guess the paprika does it. It's really delicious, like Nick said. Yeah, you gotta try the ham. The ham just looks just delicious there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So 
yummy. Okay, well, what do we have here? I think it's pate in the middle. Pate? I can't be sure. Mm. What do you think? Mm. Pate, and I'm gonna do something crazy. Uh oh. Delicious. It's flawless, isn't it? Mm. It's like I haven't tasted the drink. I think it's just apple juice. It's just apple juice. I think. <laughs> but I like apple juice too, so flawless. Delicious. They're really, really good. I love it. Oh, it gives me energy. It's so yummy. Yeah, it's yeah. really, really good. My guess is the black thing is probably some sort of seeds. I think this is sweet though. Mmm, apple. Apple cake, very healthy tasting. I was right. It's I think it's some sort of a seed. Delicious though. It's time to try Floodney for the first time. And it sounds cute, Floodney. Floodney. Or oh, it's Floodney, Floodney maybe. Um, well, yeah, it's very odd. It's got, I guess that's the apple crumble bit, but yeah, it's a cake of many layers. It's like very delicious apple pie. It's so delicious. But it's funny because it tastes so apple pie like but there's so many different other layers i'm wondering what this this is here my fingers crossed that it's not plum because if it's plum i'm allergic to plum so i might steer clear of that bit a little bit mm. it's sweet but without being too sweet it's just a delicious and it will go very nicely with ice cream i would i would say What is the first thing that comes into your head when you think about Hungary? For me, it's a public bus. Public buses are everywhere in Budapest and the most famous one is by all means, Szczecini bus. The easiest way to get there is by train and that's what we did. Trains in Budapest, they look like a movie set from early 1900s. Really, really beautiful. Anyway, by train, you get to this Szczecini bus station and from Shazani bus station to the bus it takes about less than five minutes and you'd hear some distant noise people having a blast luckily we received 20% discount from the Budapest cart so then you go to the baths and the baths are so so cool it's nice and steamy when it comes to swimsuits you can pretty much get any kind of swimsuit um, some of you who don't know about the baths might think it's more like um, the ones that you get in other countries where it's completely in the nude but it's not you definitely have to have your bathers on but the good thing is even if you're a bit shy you don't have to worry because the steam covers it all it's got this like steam aura around the whole baths so you can't really see more than like a meter or even two or maybe even less sometimes I think our Instagram really has changed the world Everyone was holding their cell phones. As soon as you get into the spot, you see so many people, I mean, including us, <laughs> including ourselves, so many people have uh, their phones inside the bar. Yeah, they were having fun and us too, we loved the experience. We, we took lots of pictures. If you go in winter, which I highly recommend going in winter, it's really, really fun, freezing and then nice and warm. So it's really, really lovely. And if you're doing that, a lot of people kind of go towards the stairs to kind of sit so you get half of your body out in the cold and the other half in the warm. And it's really quite a lovely experience. I'm here at the moment, kind of half in, half out. It is below zero degrees. So it's pretty intense, but it's a good feeling of having really cold up here and really warm nights down here and you can just dip in whenever you feel like you're a bit kind of getting a bit cold. Overall it was such a fun experience and if you're in Budapest it really is a must do there. It's just so much fun. Um, it's something that I'd never done ever and I was kind of a bit reluctant because I thought the baths were going to be too hot and I don't really like water that's too hot but it's just absolutely perfect. I hope you have a great time over there. We really really enjoyed the bath. Um, it was our, our first public bath experience. We loved it and if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe and we will see you next time. Bye!